Praise the Lord, everybody. Once again, it's Spiritual Warfare Night, and I want to welcome you to Free Gospel Deliverance Center Spiritual Warfare Session, and it's online on Facebook and YouTube. Um, tonight, we're going to tackle a serious subject. Really, they're always serious, but this one really, really is serious, and it touched my heart. Um, I've been having India, my namesake, on my mind for a long time and I've been praying for her but in the midst of that we all know what happened last night I believe it was I don't think it's been 24 hours so I'm praying tonight and the subject tonight we have to do with spiritual warfare for the victims of abduction assault um, and their families so that's the subject for tonight. Um, if you hadn't met me before, and I'm going to keep those post flyers up a little while. I am Overseer Dawn, a.k.a. India LaVoice, a free gospel deliverance center of the apostolic faith in Fairfield, Alabama. I don't have the address on the screen. Now, I didn't want to get cute <laughs> for you guys. I'm going to put on my glasses, and I apologize. It's going to put a ring in the frame of them when I look up at the camera. So I'm going to keep my eyes down sometime because I'm going to read tonight. And um, the first thing I want to read are the seven things that God hates. Seven abominations in the Bible. I was going to go to a program tonight, but God told me, what you know, wait a minute, you have an assignment and not just me. There are people that are viewing this that have an assignment. And we can't come down off the wall. We got to fight. It's a war going on. So I'm going to do that. The seven things that he hates. They're in Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. It says, these six things the Lord hates. Indeed, yea, even seven are an abomination to him, are repulsive to him. A proud look at someone with pride, having the attitude of that makes one overestimate oneself and discount others. I'm reading the Amplified Version. A lying tongue and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that creates wicked plans. Feet that run swiftly to commit evil. A false witness who breathes out lies, even half-truths. If you tell them half the truth, it's a lie. And one who spreads discord, rumors among brothers. And I got certain ones underlined here. For the reason it fits the subject tonight when we're talking about um, these victims. Now, it's just two of them on the screen, but mind you, if I put all that have been abducted on the screen, you wouldn't be able to see me. So I just have these two sweethearts on the screen right now. And I, I hadn't been online or whatever, so I don't know if it's been some updated information or not. But you see what's underlined had to do with maybe what happened to them. You know, when a lot of people abduct you, they come up with a lie, a scheme. Can you help me? I know of in the past, back in like 73, I saw this last week, I think, a documentary of this young man who was abducted. He was, he got in the van with the man because the man asked him, could he help move some furniture for him? I got to move some furniture and I could use your strength. A lying tongue. Or like the young lady on the right, Miss Carly Russell. She saw what looked like a, a toddler on the side of the freeway. And she stopped to help that toddler. They had that lie in place. That trick in place to catch somebody in a snare. Hands that shed innocent blood. That's a murderer. Or, and that's people that do things to cause you to bleed, cause you pain, affliction, any violence, a heart that creates 
wicked plans, saying, today I'm going to go snatch up these two people. That's the wicked plan. Feet that run swiftly to evil. So they quickly want to um, snatch you up. So those are things, I put that on here. Those are things that God hates. So the fight is not just our fight. And you're not alone. To the families, to the loved ones, friends, God hates a person that would do something like that. So, we know at least we have God Almighty on our side. So, we cover the, tonight we're going to cover the victims. We're going to, of course, do prayer, um, mostly. A little talking and teaching, but mostly prayer. We're covering them with Psalms 23. That's the shepherd psalms psalm 35 that was when i believe david wrote that one um when he felt like he was being attacked and he's saying god i need you you know to fight for me that's psalm 35 and psalm 91 that handles all of them handle spiritual but psalm 91 for sure handles spiritual attack from the enemy and that we're covered under god's wings in the secret place. So we're going to speak those psalms. And I, I ask you, if you can, write them down. Pray and speak those psalms over these people and their families. And over your families. And we also loose the power and fiery judgment of Yah, of God on those that, that are holding people captive. And that can go and abduct people and take, you know part of all of that away of taking part of that in any way because the one that does the abduction a lot of times is working with some other people and I pray that God exposes those other people because this right here is bigger than we think and I'm not might not be for these young ladies necessarily but there is a trade that's going on and it's bigger in the United States than we think. We think of a lot of uh, other countries. They've got trading going on with people. In the U.S., it's going on. And there are some people in power that's, uh, and with money and influence that's taking part of it, and they're going to be exposed in Jesus' name. So that's why I say we lose the fiery power and judgment of y'all on them. Now, Exodus 20 and 15, that's one of the Ten Commandments. I think the eighth, it says, you shall not steal. So not only is this an abomination, what has been done to these people, and I just got two people up on the screen, but what has been done to a lot of people, men, women, and children, they were stolen, right? That's what abduction is, right? And you know what he did with the Ten Commandments, according to Exodus 31, 18? He gave to Moses while he was on the mountain of Sinai two tablets of the testimony that held the Ten Commandments. They're tablets of stone, and they are written with the finger of God. God took his finger, and he wrote these things, thou shalt not steal. So that for him to write it himself, you know, a lot of people discredit the Bible because they say it's man, man that wrote it and all of that. For God, y'all himself, first of all, to set an appointment to come down on the mountain, telling the people to consecrate themselves, make yourselves holy, uh, don't sleep with your wives or whatever right now, make yourselves holy and pure. For seven days, I think it was, I'm going to meet you on the mountain. So for him to come down on that mountain to talk to a human and give these commandments and then say, oh, don't write them down, Moses. I'm going to write them down and I'm not going to write it on parchment. I'm not going to write it on papyrus. I'm not going to write it on paper. I'm going to write it in stone with my finger. It didn't say he wrote it in clay and then the clay hardened. It said he wrote it in stone. He's a consuming fire. So I don't know if it burned on the rock. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. But God is serious about this commandment. Thou shalt not steal. He's serious about these seven abominations. So he's serious 
when we cry out to him that these things have been done to our children, our men, women, and children. When we cry out to him, he'll hear that. So I want to take the time to plead the blood of Jesus. I'm going to take their flies down a moment because I want us to get our minds on one accord and get together because we're going to pray um, from here on out. I think I've done enough talking. <laughs> and at this time, we're going to just plead the blood of Jesus. If you uh, be on one accord with me, plead the blood of Jesus over the victims, over the families, the friends, anybody involved. That baby that was on the side of the freeway with Miss Carly uh, when she was abducted was probably a victim. So we plead the blood. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so I had to <laughs> At the, <laughs> I don't mean to quench the spirit. I'm sorry. I don't mean to quench the spirit. But I, I don't want to go all in tongues yet. Because I want to pray with understanding first. I want to pray with understanding first. And then maybe in my private time I can go in the tongues. And let the spirit pray for me. Same for you. Because while I'm on air, I want to pray and you guys understand what I'm praying for. Okay. I, I, Paul wrote that. Paul wrote that about, you know, how he speak in tongues more than most. But it's better to speak when you're together with understanding. And, you know, if you do speak in tongues, we need an interpretation and stuff like that. You remember? All right. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> But we're going to plead the blood of Jesus head to toe. You see this red I have on? May it represent the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. So at this time, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood over every victim, everybody that took part in the abduction of the people in the past and the present. And God forbid there be a future abduction, Father God. But we plead the blood of Jesus head to toe on them from their hair follicles that you've made and numbered, from their forehead, their eyes, their nose, their ear gates, Father God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> over their ear gates, over their mouth gates, over their face head, the, the neck, God, over their shoulders, chest, abdomen, back, arms, fingers, fingernails, their private parts, God, front and back private parts, their legs, their legs, their feet, their toenails, the soles of their feet, the palms of their hands. Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus over their thoughts and their thought patterns, God. May you direct them in every move, Father God, to let them know what to do and how to be set free in Jesus' name. So that no harm can be done to them in Jesus' name. We pray. Let's continue. We're going to continue pleading the blood. Um, We're going to go to... Let us pray together now by Dr. Angela Ray. She did a blood covering on pages 11 and 12. I'm going to read that out loud and you agree with that and continue to pray um, and plead the blood of Jesus. And you can pray in the spirit as well. The blood of Jesus. The blood prevails. The blood in the mind. The blood in the subconscious mind. The blood in the thoughts and thought patterns. The blood in the muscles. The bones in every cavity of the body. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood in the breathing passages and respiratory systems. Continue to uh, apply the blood vigorously, head to toe. Father, we acknowledge that it's through the blood of Jesus that we are redeemed out of the hand of Satan. That's why we plead the blood over them. It's through the blood of Jesus our sins are forgiven. The blood has cleansed us from all sins. It's through the blood we are justified. We are made righteous as if we had never sinned. Through the blood we are sanctified, made holy, and set apart 
for God. Our body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, cleansed and sanctified through the blood. Their bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Not just these two, but the, the only ones that I have up here at the moment. Their bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So it should be directly offensive to God for them to be taken against their will and against his will. We belong and they belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, God's Son, their body, soul, and spirit. Father, we acknowledge that your blood is protecting them from all that is evil. Satan has no more power over them. Satan has no more place in them. And we renounce him completely and declare him to be an enemy, our enemy. Jesus said, these signs shall follow those that believe. In the name of Jesus, they shall cast out devils. We are believers, and in the name of Jesus, we exercise this authority, and we call out every evil spirit that is directing those people that have caused and took part and planned and schemed the abduction. We place the blood upon ourselves and upon these victims and their families from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. We are overcome. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony. And I'm believing tonight that they will testify. They'll be set free miraculously and testify to what God has done for them. Father, we use the blood as an ointment. Can you see that? See the blood of Jesus as an ointment and a salve. To cover them right now completely. You said in your word that Moses, to Moses, that I have given you the blood for a token. And when I see the blood, I will pass over it. We placed the blood on the hair, the scalp, the ears, the eyes. We did that. If it had not been for the shedding of blood, there would be no remission for sins. And we would be in big trouble if it wasn't for the shedding of the blood. Now, I'm going to continue on. You guys keep praying. You here, but you're not here in this room. All right. So, we're going to pray now. Warfare prayers. Some of my favorite prayers are warfare prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the word of power and authority you have given us today. We bind Satan and his minions in the name of Jesus, and we lose God's power through God's people to war. We use every word that you have spoken as a spiritual bomb to blast and pull down every stronghold of the adversary and the lives of these people today. We cancel every plan, plot, scheme, and device that Satan has devised against them, their families, and any other person on their prayer list today. No weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against them in judgment, we condemn according to the word of God. Father, you said this is the heritage of the saints of God and our righteousness is of you. We stand upon that righteousness and stand as victors in the complete liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. We thank you that we are more than conquerors over the enemy. He has no place and no part over our lives. We command you, Satan, and your minions to release those babies, those men, women, and children that are held captive in the natural and in the spirit, and go in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we place the protecting blood of Jesus Christ upon us and upon everybody that's praying this, and upon everybody that's being prayed for. And we thank you for the victory today. Amen. Oh, God. Mm, mm, mm. I'm letting that sink in a little bit. (laughs) All right, now I'm going to read this prayer. You guys keep praying. Let us pray together now, breaking the assignment with one accord. And like I said, you're not in this room with me, but you're in this room with me. We on one accord. We have to work together. I forgot what camera. <laughs> so I'm too much in the spirit, ain't it? Forgot what camera I need to look. 
it, we working together. Oh, Heavenly Father, thou who rules and super rules, the only true and living God, the one who is shaking principalities, kingdoms, nations, and dominions, the God who speaks and man lives or dies, the God who rules the heart of the children of the kingdom of men. We come to you as our mighty deliverer. According to that, we have not prayed, I mean, sorry, acknowledging that we have not prayed for those in prison abducted as we should have. For this we repent. We haven't always prayed for these missing people. Sometimes they, we see the flyers in Walmart or whatever and we forget. And we don't pray, so we repent for that. We ask for, for and receive your forgiveness, God. We forgive those who have sinned against you, against one another and society. Lord, we decree salvation in the lives of every um, one that was abducted. Set them free, deliver and overturn in their lives. Lord, we apply the precious blood of Jesus Christ upon every um, court case that will come upon us in the future. That justice might prevail. In Jesus' name, shake the penal system. Expose Satan and break his shackles. We bind Satan, his principalities, powers, chains of abominations, sins, and degradation. We break the assignment and stronghold over minorities. Uh, we bind strong men and break the assignment over babies, women, children, men, who teenagers. Whoever's abducted, we loose the bands of the wickedness, of wickedness. We loose the bands of them. We bind perversion. That is the strong man behind all of this. Lust, homosexuality, bisexuality, rape, idolatry, uh, gang infestation, and infiltr infiltration. We bind violence, drugs, alcohol, incest. Child molestation, molestation period, murder, assault, abuse, adultery, fornication, or every other kind of evil thing that might have something to do with this. Satan, we bind you in the mighty name of Jesus and command the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ to shine in these pits of darkness. Some of those people might be in somewhere and they don't see anything but darkness. But we, we say that uh, the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ will shine in those pits of darkness. We also bind the spirit of corruption over our judicial system and loose wis wisdom with true discernment. We loose the spirits of judgment and correction over those individuals who rebel and refuse to repent and be broken. For it is written that the law is for the lawless. God, in the name of Jesus, you come together with one we come together with one heart, one mind, one spirit, and with one accord, thanking you for a mighty move of your Holy Spirit. Shake the foundation under those who are innocent. Literally, shake it up. Satan, we command you by the power of God to loose and let them go in Jesus' name. I'm going to say that one more time. Satan, we command you by the power of God to loose and let them go. I'm going to switch cameras here because the other one is acting a little strange. Which way should I go? Should I go this way? Should I go that way? There we go. And I'm going to say it a third time. Satan, we command you by the power of God to loose and let them go in Jesus' name. We place the blood of Jesus Christ upon every individual praying this prayer and agreeing with this prayer. I'm praying for these victims and for all other victims. We place the blood of Jesus Christ upon every individual praying this prayer and bind a, a backlash spirit from over them and their loved ones so that won't happen in Jesus' name. Now, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. <laughs> now, we're going to look at warfare prayers uh, from Pastor Wynn Worley really quickly. And you know what the Lord told me? He said, Dawn, you need to write. You need to write some books. 
because a lot of this stuff um, that covers certain subjects are not um, in these books. I'm having to kind of rework and reword to fit it in there because a lot of these books are to do with spiritual warfare and that's it, you know, but I, it's things that happen um, in the natural that, that needs to be addressed on a spiritual end that's not in these, but thank God he's helping me and we're getting the thing done in Jesus name. Warfare prayers, pages six and seven starting with binding and loosing and going on to a sample deliverance prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind the strong man in any or all of Satan's strongholds, all satanic rulers, doorkeepers, and all connected and related spirits um, that would have anything to do with abduction, with any human sacrifice, with witchcraft, with lust, perversion, any reason that they would be abducted. Upon any and all of Satan's children partaking or planning any evil work against them, against me, against our families, I loose in the name of Jesus the spirits of confusion, forgetfulness, destruction, and also the spirit of adoption, according to Romans 8 and 15, to lead them to the Lord and spirit of deliverance to free them from bondage that they are in. I ask you, Lord, to send forth your protecting war and angels over each uh, place that these babies are. And in Jesus' name, let those that love uh, corruption, love sin, let it return back onto them a thousandfold in Jesus' name. Father, I ask that you send special um, angels to protect to hide and put a hedge around these people that have been abducted. All of your children who are in the deliverance ministry as well and their families, friends, and associates. Also for all the people and the animals, their pets, that would be sought out to be sacrificed or cursed or abducted or hurt in any way. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you send warring angels to do battle for us. May the Holy Spirit give us discernment and gifts to set the captive free. In Jesus' name, we block any and all transference of evil spirits. Heavenly Father, we ask that your angels block and remove any evil spirit assigned to hinder or interfere. We cut off all evil power directed toward us or toward those victims or their families. Let each strong man present and all demonic doorkeepers be bound in Jesus' name. And may all communication between any enemy forces be disrupted and confusion be loosed upon them in Jesus' name. We lose spirits of confusion in the enemy's camp so that they would have civil war and actually fight against themselves. And we lose angels uh, of God, the warring angels of God, to set captives free. And the word of God. Type that too fast. The Word of God. We lose the Word of God. There we go. We break all soul ties with the abductors because you know when you um, are with certain people, soul ties can be created. So we break that and restore the fragmented souls of victims and families. We block all transference of evil spirits. That's what we said earlier. In Jesus' name, Father God, thank you for tonight. I hope that you hear us, and I know you hear us. <laughs> I know you hear us. I hope that we can be on one accord with this, and we can bring many, many, many people home safely, and we can save many, many, many souls by their testimonies. We will not forget. We will not come down. And I know the God that watches over us neither slumber, slumbers or sleeps. So I know you hear 24-7 what's going on. You know exactly where these people are. And we need your direction and guidance. The families need your strength and love and mercy and grace poured on them and your peace. 
poured on them right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, let tonight not return void, but let every word spoken be done in your honor and by your power and might. Not by my power or anybody else's that I've read from tonight, anybody else's book I've read from, but by your power. And you get all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, that spiritual warfare wasn't but 30 minutes. But we got the job done and sit up. Usually I ask, I put up the offering and the cash out. I'm going to ask that you look at the victim's families pages, the mothers and fathers and family, and get their cash app information, their GoFundMe or whatever. But make sure you check it out. Make sure it's legit because people make fake things during a crisis and God will take care of them too. That's theft. But yeah, make sure it's legit. I know that for um, India Vance, I know her mother's name is Tori Vance, T-O-R-R-I-E. And her grandmother is Sherry Vance. So might want to look on their Facebook pages or might even be, I don't think it's on the flyer here. I think it's just the description and what happened. But um, see if you can donate in any way. Because a lot of these people have, um, you know, they still have to work or go on with life. But this stops them. You know, they need to concentrate on finding their loved one. So do what you can to help out. Not just prayers. um, Donations. You know, time, food, whatever you can. Whatever they need. I don't know. Um, but yeah, look at that and see if you can help them out, uh, tonight and may God bless you and return it 1000 fold in Jesus name, because you're taking care of those in need. Now that is tithing. Amen. Now I don't have any church announcements for tonight. Um, We're going to do them Sunday. Pray that our technology works like it needs to work in the name of Jesus. Because we've been having trouble. I've been having trouble uploading the tent revivals and everything. Um, That's why you've just been getting clips and previews. Yeah. So hopefully tonight the whole thing came through. And in the future the whole thing will come through. But thank you for tuning in. Continue to pray. And hopefully we can see you Sunday at 7 p.m. Central at the church, 7329 Pine Tree Lane, Fairfield, Alabama, 35064. And that's Free Gospel Deliverance Center. All right. God bless you. I love you.